Hey, what's up adventurers? Welcome back to another video. I'm here to talk to you guys today about whether or not wolf dogs are vocal animals. Now, this question might seem a little bit silly for some of you, so bear with me because I get a lot of questions that ask me like, you know what, do you, does Fen howl? Does Fen bark? How is he around, you know, intruders? And is he very vocal when he plays? Stuff like that, you know? When I mean vocal, it's kind of dissect the word vocal, right? I'm not just talking about barking, I'm talking about basically every aspect that comes with owning a wolf dog in regards to the way they communicate with you or with those around him, right? So I thought that I could just kind of bundle all this up into one video and give you guys as much information as I can regarding Fenrir. Now I'm gonna go ahead and state the disclaimer I always talk about when I talk about Fenrir is that yes, I titled the video Blue Bay Shepherd Wolf Dog but please take into consideration those of you, which is the vast majority of you, that check into my channel to learn about Fen, is it's more gravitated towards him being a Blue Bay Shepherd. Just remember that Fenrir is 38% wolf, which is pretty high for a Blue Bay Shepherd. It's abnormally high actually. So just keep that in mind, okay? My situation might relate more to wolf dog owners than to Blue Bay Shepherd owners, okay? So when you're purchasing your Blue Bay Shepherd or when you're looking into it, it's good to watch videos like this, but it's also good to read about the pairings that you're interested in. That way you get the most accurate information. But without any further ado, let's get started with the video. So Fenrir, is he vocal? Let's start with howling. Does he howl? Yeah, <laughs> pretty easy, right? Of course he's gonna howl. He's 38% wolf. Yeah, he's gonna howl. Even if he doesn't feel like howling, he just howls because he has to. You know what I find interesting is that he doesn't howl at other dogs in videos. Like he doesn't, you know how I've seen on YouTube where it's like my dog reacts to this dog howling and it's like a chain of events and I was like, dude, that's so cool. Let me try to do it. And I put the video and I'm just looking at Ben and he's just kind of like staring at me like, what are you doing, bro? Like, I don't know what you're trying to do. And it's kind of like, boo, like I... I want to get that video off for you guys, but I can't because he just doesn't howl to videos or to wolves, actual wolves on YouTube. He doesn't howl to anything that comes out of the computer for some reason because he's able to... I don't know if he can tell, but he's he, he just doesn't do it, okay? When he's outside and a siren passes by, right? Like a police siren, a uh, ambulance, a fire truck. Oh my god, he goes on a howling spree. Now sometimes it sounds beautiful, it sounds majestic, it sounds like, you know, that knight in shining armor is coming to rescue you or bite you or whatever, but it sounds sometimes it sounds very majestic. Most of the time it sounds like a coyote screaming or something. It just sounds horrible. I'm just like, what is going on? And maybe he's still developing his vocal tones and he's you know he's practicing and he's getting better at howling. But it does sound pretty nasty when it comes from fans sometimes. It just sounds like, I don't want to do it because it's kind of embarrassing, but it, it instead of just being like one, ooh, it's like, oh, 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 oh. Like if he's hurting himself, like like if somebody's like poking his tummy while he's howling and it's causing him to, <laughs> to like cut it into sections. I don't know, it's weird. But yeah, he howls a lot. He howls at night, or not at night, sorry. Well, he'll howl at night if he hears the, hir the, the sirens. But he, he'll howl outside in the mornings because I take him out, him and my other dog in the morning so they can go potty. He'll usually let me know when he has to go. He just scratches his cage. I'm a very light sleeper, so I wake up, take him out. If he hears a dog barking outside, his response is howl, 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 not bark, bark, bark. So there's always howling around and you would think that with that much practice, Fan could be a little bit better at howling, you know? Maybe my neighbors would be like, wow, I love waking up to his dog's howls or something, I don't know. But definitely not like a rooster in the morning that sets off a nice tone. Fen can definitely come off as a very bad, you know, beginner singer, but he's getting there. I think with enough practice, definitely maybe by next year, he'll be a top tier singer for the wolf dog community. Now this kind of takes us to our second section, which is barking. Does Fenrir bark? I've heard Fenrir bark one time and it was at a stroller and it was the weirdest thing ever. He didn't know what to do. I don't even know if he knew what he was doing because he's never barked before or after. Well, at, you know, at, at something. You know. When I talk about barking, I'm talking about like the alerting bark, not the playful like wah, 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 bark that like 
dogs do, you know. I'm talking about like a, oh snap, bark at you, get away, or alert. You know, he did it one time and it was in a stroller and it sounded like, it sounded creepy. Like not, it didn't sound bad, it just sounded very creepy. Like I was just like, what was that? I, I like looked and he was, this a stroller. And I was like, wow, like this is the first time that he barks and I thought that was gonna switch something and he was gonna start barking more often. Um, definitely didn't. Definitely just was like a one hit wonder. Maybe he's barked more than once. I just maybe haven't noticed. Uh, I don't think so. I mean, I'm more than likely sure that he has barked, but maybe not to the point where I was able to notice or anybody else was able to notice for that matter. So it's definitely not going to be like a barking dog for me, right? Again, again, I'm going to remind you guys 38% wolf. Maybe those of you that have an 8% wolf, uh, good majority of it, the rest of it being German Shepherd, you're going to get a dog that barks. Don't. There, you're definitely gonna get a dog that barks if there's a lot of German Shepherd in that dog breed. Let me give you guys another example about this is that Fenrir is 38% wolf, but I think it's like 30 some percent German Shepherd and then there's Husky and Malamute. So again, dog breeds that don't necessarily bark that often combine together with the wolf overshadow that German Shepherd aspect of him. So that's why he doesn't bark to him. So now is he vocal? Like when he growls, does he let dogs know or is he just as quiet or does he howl? You know, what does he do? Well, he definitely lets dogs know like, hey, stop where you're at or get away from my food. This is my food. I don't appreciate you getting this close to my food with other dogs, right? He doesn't obsessively growl like to the point where he's shaking the ground. It's just a very straight up like subtle just growl that doesn't get pushed further than that if that makes sense and the reason i'm saying this is because ghost has a very different type of growl ghost's growl starts off slow and then it kind of picks up in intensity and then there's a bark at the end fenrir's is more like just it the way it starts is kind of the way it ends he's just kind of like man that's kind of it <laughs> i don't know if that's like a good explanation they're very flat so you're not gonna get a dog that they're loud you know they're they might be flat and monotone but he has a uh, strong vocal so you can definitely hear them regardless it's just not gonna be like one where it picks up in intensity okay and what he does with bebop is that when he kind of gets a food and bebop tries to go and get it he'll growl and then he'll he'll like correct you get me like he does that thing where they grab the their uh, snout so there's no bark at that either it's just like a growl and then like a snap okay so again if you're looking into wolf dogs so this is might be something to consider and i'm not honestly sure if this just pertains to fan or if this is just like a wolf dog thing you know maybe some of them are just like good growlers and that's enough to get the other dog's attention you know what i mean because wolf dogs and wolves are very vocal with each other but they understand a lot of mannerisms now with wolf dogs that might be the case maybe that's why they don't emphasize on that growl is because they are assuming that their dogs understand what they're stating through that growl again this is just my example and my experience with fan maybe other wolf dog owners you know if you're watching this video please comment below and let us know make hey you know what my wolf dog is completely different my wolf dog barks and he's 50% wolf and he barks at shadows. I don't know. You know, it, it, I, I kind of want to engage in these conversations and then that way I can explain these videos even better to people who are looking into these types of breeds to see if whether they're the right fit for them or not. You know, I think that us conversating and being able to get into like even grounds would help people even more. Now, the last type of vocalization I kind of want to talk about is does he cry now, i want to talk about like the crying aspect because fan <laughs> rarely cries you know he's a dog that just doesn't really cry i don't know if he just doesn't feel pain or if he just doesn't care or, or what but it's very very rare when he lets out a yelp or a cry or something so you know that when he does something's kind of wrong right you know make sure he's okay he doesn't cry when he's in his cage he doesn't cry if he's left alone he doesn't cry if he's anxious you know i've seen some dogs that cry uh when the owner kind of separates from them and they get like very anxious and they start like uh, crying but like barking kind of mixed together uh nothing like that no no nothing like that the way i see this finger is okay with being alone he's just chilling okay he's just chilling 
just likes being alone. He can be left in his cage alone. Yeah, that's fine. The time that he does kind of like give out like a little whimper, and it's not even a whimper, it's just like he's smelling the door and then it just kind of comes out, is when the other dogs are outside and he's inside. I like to separate my dogs um, throughout the day, you know, give them some room, have one inside, do the two outside, switch them out, two outside, one inside, rotate, maybe one in the cage, two outside, two in the cage, one outside, you know, stuff like that. And when he's away from them, he kind of does like smell the, the, the door and just kind of like whimper, but he goes to sleep instantly and doesn't really think about it afterwards. But he doesn't cry like if I'm in my room and he's outside the room, like here in the hallway, he doesn't cry like that. He doesn't really have that weird, you know, attachment to where if you're not with him, he starts crying, starts crying. He might start howling, but even then, like that's kind of a push. He doesn't really howl when I leave or anything. It's rare. He does, but it's, it's, it's very rare. Now, when it comes to like pain, you know, uh, there's, you know how sometimes you step on your dog and they cry and you're just like, oh my God, dude, I'm, I'm going to hell. I can't believe I stepped on my dog's foot by accident. I can't, you know, you just think about all the things that you could have done differently. And, you know, it's not them, it's you. You're the problem, not them. Uh, you know, we've all been there. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it was a little bit random and what we're talking about. Maybe you never thought about this. Maybe you're just kind of like, what? Maybe you kind of like the stuff that we talked about and you're like, you know what? I didn't think about it in that perspective. This could be a deciding factor on a low content wolf dog or, you know, a blue bay shepherd with maybe a bit more wolf dog than the rest. So I really hope you guys got something from this video. If you did, please leave a comment down below. Don't forget to pause that like button. We don't like the, the like button. We don't smash it. We don't do any of that. We pause the like button and please hit the subscribe button. We have 92% people who watch my videos are not subscribed. We can get that number down. If more people subscribe, it would be awesome. It would help the channel so much. And once again, nothing but peace and love from iPad Tears.